So the proportional transform tool allows you to proportionally transform objects, transformation values rather, proportionally apply transformation values to objects, either individual objects or, or selections of objects. So a couple of things to keep in mind is we have our base values here and then we have an amplifier value here, the percentage. Typically this would be set to 1 as opposed to the default 0.5. So that gets a little confusing. So start out by going in to set that to 1. And then let's say I wanted to scale this object by a certain percentage. So right now you'll see that the scale values are kind of these arbitrary values, 0.158. If I needed to scale this by 125%, it's very hard for me to calculate that number. But this tool will essentially do that for you. So I go into scale, grab my Y, and I'll say set that to 125% and apply. And now it's going to take the existing value and multiply that by 125%. If I continue to apply this, then it's going to continue to scale that each time by 125%. Now I can go in the opposite direction, of course, and I can set that to 0.75, and now it's going to scale that down 75% each time. So that's a simple example using scale on a single object, but let's say that I had a group of objects that I wanted to work with, and I wanted to proportionally offset, for instance, uh, several of these crates. So I'll basically just create a few copies. We'll just create four. And let's say that I wanted to move these all along the z-axis. So I'll just go in and I'll select each one of these objects in order. The order that you select them determines how the, the values get applied. I'm going to reset my scale to 1 and then I'll choose the z-axis here and I'll set my translate to be something like 0.5. So now when I apply this, it's going to basically go in order. So you'll notice that the first one will get transferred by z.5, the next one will be 1, the next one will be 1.5, and the next one will be 2. So this is where the proportional idea comes in. So now as I continue to apply this, let's go back a step here, as I continue to apply this, it's going to proportionally transform those so that the first one is moved by 0.5 each time and the second one is moved proportionally higher than that each time all the way across the, the last selection. So the percentage value can also be applied here. So if I wanted to set this to, uh, say, for instance, 2%, or actually, let's say, 0.5%, then that's actually going to reduce this value. So you could either reduce the value here, or you can reduce it with the percentage value. Now they're going to be moved uh, a little bit less each time. So this can work in any direction, so I can offset the same kind of way using uh, the Y value. So I can come in here and I can set that to be something like 1. And I can get kind of this stair step effect so that each object is rising proportionally higher uh, compared to the, uh, the succeeding or preceding one. Now I can also do this with rotate. For rotate, let's add a couple of extra ones. I'll actually just create another uh, set here. So I've got eight total. So now I'll just go in and I'll select these in order. And this time, instead of proportionally offsetting using the translate, this time I'm going to use rotate. I'll use the Y axis, and I'll set this to be 5 degrees, essentially. And let's just set that to be 100% of that. So now I apply, and each one of these is going to get proportionally rotated less, essentially. So um, what I'm doing now is I'm using this as my pivot. It's getting the, the, uh, the most rotation, and then this first one is getting the least rotation. So now you can kind of start to see the pattern that gets applied. Now we can set any arbitrary point to be the rotation. So I could actually choose, for instance, uh, a specific axis. Let's just say 0, 0, 0. And now each one of these is going to get proportionally rotated around that uh, hub or that new pivot, essentially. So you can get these really interesting offsets with all of your transformations using this proportional transform tool.